My name is Dave Krawczyk. I'm the CEO of Glance Displays here in Chicago. Um, we started out of 1871 and are now in the Bosch connectory space on the fifth floor of the Merchandise Mart. Uh, basically what we're building is an internet connected mirror and it shows you information to help you prepare for your day. Um, the information is customizable for whoever's standing in front of it and that I think is the true value of the product is that when you prepare for your day, when you step out of the shower in the morning and you're standing there brushing your teeth for 30 seconds or a minute, however long you brush for, then instead of just staring off into space wondering about what your day looks like, you can actually see it on the mirror. This is Glance. It's our internet connected smart mirror. And so it's a mirror that shows you information about your day. And so you walk up to it and via proximity, it will show you information that you've configured from your companion app on your iPhone or Android that you want every morning or every night before you go to bed. So that could be weather, calendar, email, sports scores, news. And so the way that you interact with the mirror is actually through voice. So I can walk up to my glance mirror and say, this is Dave. And so now it's going to go ahead and show Dave's information, my information. We also tie in with other connected products, for example, coffee makers. So if I wanted an espresso, make me an espresso. And now right over here to my right, we have the espresso machine making me an espresso. So it's, and so you just got to make sure there's a cup over there, which we do have. So uh, um, you know, what's interesting is we wanted to make sure that whoever was standing in front of the mirror saw their information, the information that they cared about. Um, and so that would be different for me and it would be different for my fiance. And so how do we know who's standing in front of the mirror? Well, originally we wanted to, to use facial recognition. So I step in front of the mirror, it recognizes my face, and then it shows me my information. Unfortunately, after building it and testing it and getting it all working, it was really cool, but we talked to about 40 women, and they said, if you think you're going to take a camera, put it in my bathroom behind the mirror, and then tie it to the internet, you're insane. I will unplug that product as soon as I had learned that. So we got rid of the camera uh, because we want people to buy the mirrors. Um, what we do now is we use voice recognition to select a profile, and so the interaction is kind of you walk up to the mirror, it shows you some default information. You greet the mirror, and it shows you your information. So this is great for a new apartment building or a high rise or a hotel because it gives the management the opportunity to communicate something in that default layout. Like, um, welcome, Mr. Krawczyk. Your checkout tomorrow is at 11 AM, but ask for late checkout, and we'll update it for you. Or um, your building management can tell you that there's a happy hour going on in the lobby this evening, and then it starts to drive this sense of community in your building. So uh, it's all this idea of ambient technology. We're very excited about um, driving that forward and becoming one of the first pervasive technologies to do that. Uh, we think that in information is only really beneficial to you if, if you know it. Uh, so that's why we, we like to bring the important information to the surface on our, on our mirror.